Hi, I am Marina in the Tikna Kitchen. You have been very persistent and today we'll take a look at GeForce GTX 680 video card. Nvidia's single chip flagship seems to be an improved version of HD 7970. It gets hot less and makes less noise. It has good frequency for overclocking with GPU boost technology. Being economically viable, it has 2 instead of 3 GB of memory and is considered to be equally powerful and we'll look into later on. Being 10 inches long, the card is shorter than HD 7970, which length is around 11 inches. One more advantage of the green color style is represented by 6-pin power plugs, while one of HD 7970 power plugs was 8-pin style. 6-pin power plugs are attached one above another in order to make the card space-saving. One of the plugs is a bird style that is friendly designed for disconnecting the plug sledge to one another. 600 watt power supply is quite enough for the card entire operation, including overclocking. Maximum power of the card is 195 watt, being 55 watt less than HD 7970. Nvidia GeForce GTX 680 is equipped with two DVI ports, one HDMI port and a display port as per specifications. From the new features we can see up to 4 monitor multi-monitor gaming and the above mentioned GPU boost. If the setup thermal package allows, the card will automatically increase the temperature and frequency to make the user happy with the performance. On top of that, the user will be also happy with the improved synchronization. If the frequency is more than 60 fps, then the card will work within the limits leading to power saving, and if the frequency goes down, then the synchronization is off. In the previous models it would go down to 30 fps, be not sufficient for lots of players, and it is always better to have 35 rather than 30 fps. It is an interesting thing that the market shows loads of GTX 680 types pricing from 18 to 22,000 troubles. The fact remains that many of them are reference samples and may wear one and the same plant, making the brand name unimportant, as the differences are represented by stickers, guarantee terms and conditions, and package. We have a reference sample from the point of view. We are very happy with the cut price, as the manufacturer decided not to increase the cost of the packaging, where there was nothing else in the package besides the CD, and that is a good point from our opinion. Turn on the card and you will find out its good silence feature, as it's completely noiseless. Chip standby temperature is 33-40 degrees. Let's have a 45-minute card warming in future mark, and we are having 64% that's equal to 44 decibels per 1 meter, while the HD 7970 had 49.5 decibels per 1 meter. So GTX 680 is more silence card than HD 7970. Now let's overclock it using EVGA Precision X software with default core frequency equal to 1006 MHz. The free frequency went up to 1273 MHz, including our manual overclocking and GPU boost feature. 20% add-up is perfect for a flagship video card. New 28nm processor really works miracles. However, memory overclocking wasn't positive, and seems like 6008 MHz is enough for everything. We slightly overclocked memory up to 176 MHz in the same way as the core. All cards are tested under overclocking to see their maximum possible performance. As usual, let's have a Mafia test. GTX 680 101 FPS, rating A. At last we achieved 100 fps per second, that is a great result making the card to be the king of the kitchen. It's a good and intriguing start. Metro 2033 shows a significant loss of Nvidia being 6-7 fps is worse than its rival. Well, let's start Battlefield 3 to see all the best things that can do GTX 680. GTX is way faster and it managed 61 FPS. At the same time, its rival earned only 52. The difference is significant. Now we are at a loss. Let Stalker Call of Pripyat tell us the sentence. And the Stalker was not smiling on the greens, as Radeon HD 7970 is more powerful. 
Phrases 2 and the Radeon is a winner again, having 66 FPS versus 55 57 FPS. 9 11 FPS is a great breakaway. Our opinion is that Radeon HD 7970 is more powerful, and if the price is the same, it would be much more reasonable to buy it instead of GTX 680. However, for the battle players, the choice is evident. Comparing GTX 680 with GTX 580, the new card is surely better than the old one. There is 7 FPS difference in Metro. There is a big difference in Battlefield 3 equal to 15 30 FPS. During the battle, instead of 45 FPS for a GTX 580, we have 60 70 FPS for a GTX 680. That is really nice. Well, speaking about other games. For example, Mass Effect 3, we see incredible number of FPS, and this is due to full HD ultra settings and smoothing. The question would be what is the purpose of this high power? The answer is to use for game at the same time several monitors, to play 3D or play 3D on several monitors. Well, we have a really nice, quiet video card for the battlefield. It's awarded with a gold medal from us. Thank you for watching us and see you soon. Bye! Тенью Фарука Альбашира будет непростой. Лады, пора веселиться!